welcome to this tutorial on downloading and installing the Arduino IDE. One of the absolute best things about the Arduino platform is how easy it is to get started. The software that installs your, your computer is completely free and is designed specifically for ease of use. Uh, now the program is called an Integrated Development Environment or IDE for short and the fancy name might be a little intimidating but it runs just like a text editing program on your computer. Now with any software install, you may have some particular things working on your computer that could uh, hinder a smooth install. So I've loaded the Arduino several times on different operating systems and have not had too many troubles. Once or twice I have had to re-download the zip file that, cont that contains the Arduino IDE because somehow or other it got messed up during the download process. Could have been a user error, but I highly doubt that. So, and then you might have to install some drivers uh, yourself for the Arduino board, but this turns out to be extremely easy. So let's go ahead and get started. All you have to do is go to your favorite browser and go to the Arduino homepage. That's arduino.cc. Go to the download, download tab. Scroll down the screen. Find your operating system. We will install it on the Mac for this tutorial. It's going to ask you where you want to save it. So I've got mine going to Downloads, Programs to Install, and I'm just going to use that file name. It includes the version, so I would recommend using that file name, and I hit Save. So we can see it is a 76 megabyte file, and it's going to take me about a minute to download. All right, now the file's been downloaded. Now I'm going to go ahead and go to my Finder, and I'm going to find that file. All right, today, Arduino. This is the file right here. I'm going to uh, double click on that and I'm going to open it with the Archive Utility. That's going to unzip the file. Okay, now Arduino shows up in that file. Now, what you can do is you can drag this program, and I would recommend it drag it over to your applications uh, and drop it in there. Now I'm not going to do it because I already have an existing one in there. And then what you can do once you've dragged it over to applications, is click on your applications and you'll see the Arduino icon right there. Now sometimes that icon won't show up immediately and what you'll see instead is um, something with a little circle right here, like a circle with a line through it um, instead, but it will say Arduino under there. and once you've launched, launched the program or your computer restarted, then you will see this Arduino IDE. So let's go ahead and open it up and let's expand it. Now there's a couple settings I would like to discuss that I think are very useful. So come to Arduino and come to Preferences. These are all the preferences that you can set. There's really not too many. The first one, which I think is very important, is where you want this to store your the sketches that you write or the programs that you write for your Arduino. So I've got mine going, I think it defaults under your user folder, but uh, you can set it however you want with the browse button. You can decide where you want it. Um, you can ch choose your language. There's tons of languages on here and you can adjust your font size. Now I like my font large. Um, 14 is not that large. I probably rather have it 16 but I will note that there is an issue if you make this font too big um, sometimes your cursor will not match up with the lines um, just so keep that in mind if you're like me and you like large fonts I think 12 is the default so 14 works fine okay um, and then the only other thing that I would note is this will usually not be clicked verified code after upload and I would recommend clicking that and it, it probably means absolutely nothing to you right now. Don't worry about it. I just think it's going to make your life easier down the road. And that's that's pretty much it. That's how you download and install the Arduino IDE for Macintosh. Pretty stinking simple. The next tutorial, which I hope you come to listen to, will discuss a little more about this integrated development environment. We'll start looking around at all the buttons and everything like that and see what does what. So have a great day and talk to you soon.